Hey guys, so today I filmed um, this makeup look. Um, it's a kind of like a glowy um, summery makeup. I wanted to go for something really summery. I put glitter on the lids. I used the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops um, on my cheek. All in all, I'm really happy with how this turned out. So there's nothing really else to say, so I'll just get straight into it. So I'm starting off with the Scandinavia Primer Spray as usual and just spraying that all over my face then patting it in with my hands. And then going in with Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer to prime my eyelids. And to set that, I am using the RCMA Original No Color Powder. And I'm just going into the Zoeva Naturally Yours palette, and I'm first going in with Soft and Sexy, and just putting that on the outer corner and the crease of my eyes. And then I'm going to use the Slow Dance color from the same palette and just putting that on the outer corner and the crease as well, mainly using the first color as a transition shade. And now taking Timeless Chick and taking a more precise brush to get it on the very crease and outer corner. And I'm now just going in with a blending brush and just very lightly blending everything together. And I'm now going into the Zoeva Opulence palette and taking Industrial Fortune and putting that onto the lid and the inner half of my eye. And after removing the tape, I am going in with Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Moonstone and just putting that down all over my face. Even though I did already use a primer, I'm using this to get that glow from within look. And for foundation, I'm using the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation in Light 4. And I'm just taking my Maybelline Asia Rewind Concealer in Light Pale and just using that to conceal under my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, my forehead, my chin and around my nose. Next I am taking the RCMA Original No Color Powder to bake underneath my eyes and on my chin. And to set the rest of my face I am using the Miranese DD Velvet Skin Line Minimizing Powder. And for my eyebrows as usual first going in with It's Cosmetics Brow Power Pencil and just spooling my eyebrows out and then drawing a line on the bottom of my brows. And to fill them in, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Ash Brown. And I'm now taking the Hula by Benefit bronzer just to bronze up my face.
And because I feel like the eyeshadow just wasn't enough, I went in with the Revlon Eye Art in Topaz Twinkle, I believe it is, to add some sparkle. I only used the sparkle end. And then I'm going in with Kat Von D Metal Crush Eyeshadow in Thunderstruck to highlight my inner corners and under my brow. And just going in with a black liner pencil to line my tight line. And for my lower lash line, I'm first going into the Zoeva Naturally Yours palette, going for soft and sexy and slow dance on the outer corner. And then I am taking the Zoeva Opulence palette and grabbing the Industrial Fortune shade on the inner corner. And then for my wing today, I use the Maybelline Hyper Sharp Wing Liner. For mascara, I use the L'Oreal Baby Roll Mascara. For lashes, I grabbed the Aeris from the EXO Beauty The Naturals kit. And then for contouring, I'm just going into the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. Next I'm grabbing California by Benefit Blush and just blushing up my cheeks. And for a whole lot of glow today I am using the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in Celestial and I'm just dropping a couple of drops on the back of my hand and then putting it onto my cheeks, my bridge of my nose and my cupid's bow using my beauty blender. And I just use Kat Von D Metal Crush Eyeshadow in Thunderstruck to go on top of that. And for lips, I use the Tarte Lip Sculpture in VIP. And of course using Kat Von D Locket Setting Spray to set everything in place. And that is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And let me know in the comments what your favorite way to glow is. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.